this is me using one of Minecraft's most underrated glitches to nuke the entire server. And this is me using many other what deadly weapons to turn the server into a war zone, all to get revenge. Because ever since day one of the server, all of the powerful players have just walked all over, killing me whenever they wanted. I couldn't get embarrassed like this, I had to prove myself. So after getting some basic gear, I immediately began work on the first weapon. You see, my plan was to start off by simply using these weapons to kill powerful players, but then I would slowly progress to destroying more and more of the server. But since I'm so much weaker than the rest of the server, what better way to start than by crashing a server-wide event that I got invited to using an instant kill ray gun. Everyone is in position and I am about to fire this ray gun. My mic sounds on work. Yeah, my mic sounds on work. All right, three. Hey, well, oh, no. taking so long, bro. Oh, two. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm pressing it. I'm pressing Dude, it. Dude, wait for the team. Oh, One fire. I did it. What the hell was that? What? The oh. what? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it worked. My first kill. He's evil. Don't like, kill him, bro. He's evil. What? what? Okay, now I gotta go. I specifically dug a tunnel for escaping, so as long as I get to that, I should be safe. What? I found him. 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 If I can just get to another portal, I should be able to escape. Oh, another portal. Come on, please. Okay. I need to get out of this stupid water cave. On. No way. Oh my god. Oh, I actually got out. Not only was the plan successful, but I also managed to get out completely unscathed. More importantly than that, I just got the perfect opportunity to use my next weapon, as I already knew the exact base coordinates of the people that chased me down. It's honestly kind of sad, because this base is actually pretty nice, but there's no going back now. If you haven't already guessed, the next weapon I'm gonna use is gonna completely decimate this entire base in a matter of seconds. This is the TNT shotgun, designed by Just White Void. Just one of these tiny units is capable of firing thousands of TNT per second. So I messaged one of the owners of the base, only a squid, to log on to the server, wanting him to witness his own base being destroyed in front of his very eyes. Okay, what's up, Squiddy? I don't know. What is up? Remember that one time I tried to trap you in the game show? Mm -hmm. You did try and kill me, but I felt kind of bad. So I prepared a gift for you Ooh. oh my god bro it's at your base it's at your base i'm actually gonna get it <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm ready here don't worry oh, okay 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 um just close your eyes so you don't spoil the surprise okay my eyes are closed okay wait should i record this um if you want to if you want to show my kindness to the world i i i i okay you ready you like fireworks squiddy yeah i love fireworks okay okay <laughs> Nah, it's about to die, bro. This is what you get for, for trying to kill me, buddy. I is dead. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> it's over for you, bro. This is what you get. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. This is what you get. Is there no TNT left in this? Oh, it's actually over. All right, well, it's over. Goodbye to your base. Dude, you're, you're not going to try to kill me even though I just blew up your entire base? Nah. At first, I was confused as to why Squid didn't care that I had just blown up his entire base, but later, I learned that this base had already been long abandoned before I even found it. The weapon might have worked, but I had made no progress in proving myself to the server. If I wanted people to care about the destruction, I would have to aim for a bigger target. And there isn't a bigger target than the spawn of the server. But finding the target isn't the hard part, it's the execution that we have to worry about. You see, if I wanted to use the same TNT shotgun to hit spawn, I would firstly need way more TNT to do any real damage, but also it would require me to fully destroy spawn in order to make anyone care. And I feel like it's a little too soon to do that, so instead, I set out to find a different weapon I could use. I feel like the scariest part of doing this all by myself is the fact that if any of my plans ever fail, I have absolutely nobody to fall back on. If one of my traps fails or something, I literally just can't do anything. It's me against the whole server. Knowing the consequences, I set out to a slime farm. If I kept using such aggressive weapons, it would only be a matter of time until people got fed up and would kill me for good. So for my next attack, I decided that I would make it a mystery. I'm currently gathering the items needed for a world eater. If you don't know what a world eater is, uh, 
let's just say the name describes it pretty well. My plan was to build it overnight, carving out a massive hole right next to spawn. So the next day, when players start logging on, they all get confused. While everyone is busy trying to figure out who made the massive crater, I get extra time to develop my game plan. Now that all the dupers are built, I just have to build these receivers that are going to stop them from just crashing into the mountain and breaking. Everything seems to be ready, so I guess I'm just going to launch the machine. That looks like it's working. It's definitely doing a lot of damage, but I just gotta make sure that the receivers work and they send the machines back. All right, I think they're about to connect. And, okay. Everything seems to be working perfectly. For how destructive this machine is, it's actually very simple to build. I'm just gonna leave the machine running and log off for the night. I'll probably log back in when uh, people start noticing. What is yeah. this? No, I just it logged on. Cringe ass sign, bro. It's just a big radar. Rion called me and told me it was a. Yeah. What the? Surprisingly, everything had worked as planned, and basically no one was suspecting me to be the culprit. So with the time I now had, I began to strategize on what I should do for my next attack. So when a player named only a squid, the guy whose base I destroyed, announced the building competition, I saw it as the perfect opportunity. Because with the prize being a permanent strength effect, I knew a lot of people would show up. Personally, I didn't care about the effect. I just wanted to cause as much chaos as possible. But right as I was about to log off to begin designing my build to enter the competition, I was contacted by a player named Sharkills. Alright, so basically, for the building competition, mm -hmm. um, I need some materials, I need your help with it. Okay. okay. At first, I was a little confused by his request, so I decided to ask a little bit further. What do you need? Okay. What materials do you need? Okay, so I'm building a TNT minecart trap. Alright. Uh huh. So I need minecarts and rails, just like a lot of it. I'm just gonna put it inside of the, uh, the thing. This was the perfect opportunity. Not only would entering the competition with a team instead of just by myself would make me seem way less suspicious, but also having other people help me with the next trap would make it way easier. Originally, Sharkless just wanted to use TNT minecarts, but since we were now temporary teammates, I decided I would show him one of the deadly weapons that I hadn't yet used. What is this? What the f It's a TNT sniper rifle. Oh it's a little more God. destructive when the target is further away. Yo, there's no shot you could build that. I I already have all the materials for it. I'm I just I'm just missing the TNT. And so the plan was set in motion. While Sharkill stayed at spawn to build something to enter the building competition, I ventured out to a gunpowder farm to get as much TNT as possible. As excited as I am to try this TNT sniper, I gotta say that it's like pretty nice to actually have a teammate I can trust, even if it's just temporary. So after sitting at the creeper farm for a couple hours, I made my way back to spawn to start building the weapon. First, I had to start out by digging a massive corridor behind the actual building. You see, because the sniper rifle is so big and has such a long range, it would need a lot of space to actually fire the TNT effectively. Next, I began building the sniper rifle itself. Now, building it actually isn't that difficult since it's mainly just composed of dispensers. The difficult part is that we were running out of time. When the building competition was originally announced, there was a deadline of 6 hours. But with how long it took to AFK for all the TNT needed for the sniper, more than 5 hours had already passed. Meaning that we now only had a couple minutes to complete the weapon. Are you almost done, JJ? No. Oh, Omni's messaging. My mom's mouse suddenly <laughs> stopped working. <laughs> He's fixing his mom's mouse. That's good for us. We need to delay this as much as possible. I'm oh, Omni said he's broken. back. Ah! Oh, no. I'm broken. I'm broken. This is people's in. I quickly finished building the sniper and we got in VC with all the other contestants. Oh, oh my main pair. My hey, main pair. Mm. Yo, okay. main pair. While Sharkos was outside talking with everyone about the contest, I was hiding next to the weapon, getting ready to activate it. Oh, where, where's, no where's JJ? I saw you. Okay, wait. position for our piggy presentation. You'll see. The judges started by reviewing the other team's build first. And while everything was going perfectly fine, when it came to reviewing our build, people began getting suspicious. Come on. No, no. What, what, what's JJ doing as Not. well? Hmm. Okay. Don't that feel smishy, bro? I'm gonna be honest. Oh, Why are you oh, dropping? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I get him. Okay. Nice. 
Okay. I'm okay. eight negative, so what was the point yeah, of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm mine that day, bro. Nice trap with JJ. The trap had completely failed. I got out of there as fast as possible to avoid the same treatment that Sharkills got. This was the lowest of the low for me. Not only did one of my biggest traps yet completely fail, but I was now being hunted by the entire server. It was clear that something needed to change. I was tired of my traps being found, I was tired of them not being destructive enough, and I was tired of not having any trustworthy teammates. I had to take these weapons to the next level if I truly wanted to prove myself, but now I knew that I couldn't do that alone. But if the entire server is against me, then who could I trust to be my teammate? This question bothered me for a long time, until I realized that I only really had one option. Out of everyone on the server, only a squid is the one person known for finding crazy methods to kill players and cause destruction. Although our current relationship on the server is not peaceful, I knew that this was my last chance to prove myself. So I got into a call with squid and hoped for the best. Hello? 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 Hi. Where are you at? There's a reason I've come to, um talk with you today first i think i should start by um apologizing for trying to trap you or blowing up your base and also making that crater over there so you admit it i can see you're not trying to kill me so you forgive me at least somewhat just wondering if like do you know like any way i could bring upon this day of reckoning onto the server well there is one thing that i was working on that could potentially working on, working on planning it's a weapon that's so powerful it can blow up any person anywhere in the world leaving no trace of its existence okay is like the the blast powerful yeah it's pretty powerful it'll it only take a couple shots to destroy all of spawn all of spawn all of spawn if we managed to pull off what squid was describing not only would i manage to finally prove myself to the server but we would literally become the strongest players in the server's history so without any hesitation i followed squid to the edge of the world to help him hollow out an area to build the weapon of mass destruction i now realize i probably should have been more careful with trusting him so easily but at the time i was only focused on one thing destroying the server earlier squid sent me the schematic of the entire machine itself and like i'm just kind of looking around right now and i i'm gonna be honest like i can't even begin to understand what all of this is or what all of this does like how is this even supposed to fire tnt i just don't understand but if you do want to learn how this machine actually works then you should check out cubic meters channel as he's the one who not only designed the machine but also let us use it i went back a couple days later to check on the progress to see that squid had already began building some parts of the machine but when i asked him about it he literally just told me to wait for him to finish it and that he would explain it to me when it was done so when squid messaged me a couple days later to come check out what he built i was really excited i'm here mm. so this is the control room yeah, this is the x coordinates each lectern has a input squid basically explained that by inputting certain numbers into these lecterns the machine would understand what location to send its tnt to but if i'm being honest i was only really interested in one thing i wanted to know when we could finally launch this machine squid told me that the machine was practically ready to do a small scale test just to make sure that it actually works on the server so i set out to spawn to not only build the area that would be hit but to also set up some extra traps just in case things go south and i have to fight the entire server so when the weekend finally rolled around and squid confirmed the machine was ready to fire i gathered everyone at my little stage if this test was successful nothing would ever be the same again around two weeks ago if you guys remember um someone made that massive crater over there uh at spawn yeah. which people weren't that happy with for the past two weeks i've been conducting a rigorous investigation to figure out who did it and it i think i think i've collected enough proof oh to tell you all who it is Oh shoot! It was I'm ready, I'm ready. Tell me. It tell was me. Joel or Sean. Oh, what? Joel yeah, or Sean? Wow. It was Joel or Sean. Why would you do that? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, two, 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 two. Oh my God! Oh my God! God. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, okay. So, so uh, <laughs> one and two. No! 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 No!
Infamous. What is? Oh, I have to have to kill Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, no, another one. He has more. He has more. Another one. Oh my god. He has, he has more. He has more. He has more. Okay, watch out. Watch out. What was it? What was it? What was the trap? It was it a TT trap and it failed because I'm the only one who yeah, that, died. That was, was crazy, Bert. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I have like, bro, I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna die, Bert. Wait, did you have a lot of one heart, bro? Please. Oh my god, I didn't even realize, bro. Holy shit, that scared me. Yo, I'm about to die to a skeleton. Someone help me! Don't go near that tree. Do not go near that tree. Do not Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Nah, nah, that's what you get for being a snake and not a Damn! Oh my god, you said no, 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 that tree, bro. I was nowhere near it, bro. No. Easy. As I already said, the test went perfectly. No one knew where the TNT came from. Everyone was terrified of the mines that set up all over the server, and I had escaped without a scratch. I was amazed at what this machine could do. I no longer had to worry about people finding my traps or them running away because this weapon could literally deliver thousands of TNT anywhere in the world. It was literally like having a nuke in Minecraft. The craziest part is that it wasn't even at full capacity blast. It was just a small scale test to check that the machine was working. The power we had at our fingers tips was nothing like anyone had ever seen before. Overall, I was very satisfied, so I got off for the night. But when I logged on the next morning, not only had the machine blown itself up, but I found that my base was completely destroyed as well. After using so many different methods to destroy the server, it was clear that their hatred towards me only grew, which meant that if I kept going, there would be no more turning back. But I couldn't think about that right now. As while Squid was repairing the machine, I had to figure out a way to get everyone in the same place again for the full power blast. Since no one would trust me to go anywhere at this point, I had to come up with something else. Luckily, it just so happened that the New Year's was coming up in about three weeks, and since players were already planning an event for it, I realized it would be the perfect time to strike. So I went completely silent for the next couple weeks, barely even logging onto the server. The full power blast had to have the perfect condition, and I couldn't risk anything that would ruin it. Since Squid had died during the test, no one suspected him to be my teammate, meaning he was able to repair the machine in peace. So when it was finally time for the New Year's event, I logged onto the server, ready to completely destroy it. Christmas. Yeah, nah, I'm blowing everything up, bro. Wait, I think I think XP chat's making the eighth oh, 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 Okay. okay. Oh, Wait, I don't, I don't really know if I want to do this, guys. Wait, what is happening? Wait, what you is happening? just called us friends. This, this might be a little What's scary, happening? man. Wait, how does this work? The friendly Benleys? Would you all come here? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to know that after this, there's no turning back. The entire server will hate you and the consequences will be worse than anything you've ever seen before. It will be you and Squid versus the world. And I can't let you make this decision without being ready for what comes next. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Would you all come here? Yes, oh. I <laughs> Yes, I So bad. Okay, 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 okay. No. T tell everyone. Wait, squid, squid. How how long till the machine's ready? Um, I haven't even set it up yet. Alright, I'm gonna tell everyone to like go to spawn. Okay, I'll distract them. 
Oh yeah, more TNT, more TNT, more TNT. Oh my god, no way. Oh, flying above. oh, oh my what? god! What the hell, bro? Why spawn? Spawn no! is gone! No! Spawn is gone! What is spawn is gone! Spawn is oh gone! Alright, alright, okay. Okay, so sp no, spawn is genuinely gone. What? Spawn what? is genuinely gone. Spawn is gone! Spawn is gone! Inventory trap happening. I'm dead, bro! What? I'm dead! Inventory trap happening. Infuse finale already? Bye bye, infuse. Yo, JJ, yo, JJ. Bro, you're letting him get rid of- Guys, kill Dady, kill Dady. Strive! I was gone for War one second, what if they missed? Come here, come here. War is breaking out, bro, we gotta stay close. <laughs> no, no, okay, JJ, JJ, uh, there's just zero chance. Please. I'm sorry, Strive. Oh, Why, Why do you not have a helmet on? Why do you not have a helmet on? Hi, guys. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I gotta re-gear and head back to spawn because I know that the machine is about to hit it again. He's using yes. SP models! <laughs> I know it. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like, he he yeah, got yeah. apple, he got apple. It's fine, he, 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 I pulled block him, I pulled block him. They definitely got apple, they definitely got apple. Yeah, probably, probably. Block it up from the top, yeah, exactly. don't let him get out. Where did he go? Okay. He fought, he fought, he fought out. After I got away from the players chasing me, I began putting my stuff in shulkers. Since I had extra effects into my ender chest, I was gonna take the death to escape spawn. I found him, I found him, I found him! Bro. Let's go on! Shortly after, the players found the machine, destroyed it, and voted to have both me and Squid banned from the server. But at this point, it didn't even matter, because the ban was temporary, so the moment we got on ban, two weeks later, Squid immediately rebuilt the machine, and we caused even more havoc onto the server. Anywhere you went in the entire world, all you would see is explosions, destroying everything in its path. The damage was so bad that the server had become literally unplayable. So together, everyone voted to end the season early. But we blew that up too. I don't know if I can pick up my armor right now. Not only had I reached my goal that I've had since the start of the server, but I'd also found a teammate to do it with. If you've made it this far, then genuinely thank you for watching. This entire video has taken me more than three months and two terabytes of footage to produce. After Infuse ended, we decided to start a month-long event where we just play on the Season 1 map. I've just uploaded my first video on it to the second channel I'm going to be posting a lot more. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the main channel, and if you want to see more simple videos like the one on screen right now, go subscribe to my second channel.